Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple shop in Minecraft. Before I begin, let me do a quick demonstration of this shop. So this chest on the left is the input or payment, and so if I put one item, I made my uh, payment item sandstone. As you can see, it gets pulled out, and then over here, there's one chest. Now I made my uh, item that I'm buying, the chest, but you can make either the input or and the output whatever items you want. Some other good features of this design are that it is completely non-spammable so you can put as many items in this chest as you want and you will get the exact same amount of items. You don't have to put them in one at a time. Another great feature of this design is that you cannot steal from the shop or take what you paid back. These are both inaccessible until after you paid and then this will dispense up. One final thing about this design is that it is compatible with every version of Minecraft. No matter what you are on, this will work, Bedrock or Java, and this also works on the newest 1.16 snapshots. With that, let's get on to the build. There are some optional extensions for this build that I will go over at the end of this video, but the minimum resources required are as follows. Two redstone torches, two chests, two droppers, two comparators, six repeaters, twelve redstone dust, four hoppers, and some building blocks. Now let's get on to the build. For this build you will need a 4x7x4 four by by four area that is 4 in width, 7 in length, and 4 in depth as I have here. We can start by placing the input and output chests. So if we come to the fourth block in and this far left block, build up one, two, three, four. This is where our input chest will be. And then one block gap. And then right here, this is where our output chest goes. If we come around to the back of these chests, place three blocks right here and then break these original four blocks, we can place three of our hoppers right here. We can then go back and break these three blocks, come back to the front. On this bottom hopper, place a block here with a comparator outward, and then we will be making the simple item filter that I made in one of my previous videos. You can go check that out if you want. And then this is the formation we want. Two redstone dust down into a one tick repeater with a redstone torch here. We can then come back to the front of the build Place a one tick redstone repeater right here into a solid block with one redstone dust here and another redstone repeater right here. That repeater goes into a solid block with a redstone torch on it and that is where our two droppers go right here. We can then go down, place two blocks right here and then build a block up like this. Place another comparator right here with a redstone repeater right here. Come back here, place three more blocks right here with redstone dust on all three and then turn this to subtract mode. Come back here, place some blocks in this fashion, two blocks this way, one block this way, and then a block up like this, and then two blocks right here, and then one block here, and lastly one block up like that. We then need to place one one tick redstone repeater right here and another one tick redstone repeater right here. The rest of these blocks get covered with redstone dust. We are now almost done. There are two more things we can do. We can then build our back for the build and the floor right here, as you can see. And this design is completely flush. If you would like it to be, you can expand as far as you want, as you can see here. And the final thing we need to do for this build is go back here and change this repeater to two ticks which protects from spamming the items as I showed earlier. I actually forgot about one part of this build. If we come to the back right here and place a hopper facing into this dropper, this is the input for the output of our shop if that makes sense. Now that we are done with the redstone, we can go to the back to actually put in the items we will be taking as a payment which I am putting here, I am using diamonds, put them in here, and then they will slowly drain out into this hopper down here. Then, like I said, we will put the items that we are selling in this hopper right here, and they should not drain into that dropper. Now, as you can see, let's just say I put in eight diamonds right here, then they will drain out, and one by one, my items that I am selling will come into this chest. 
Now I will quickly go over some optional extensions that just make this build a little bit better and easier to use. First of all, we can place a chest here which will actually drain out our items that we are making as profit. We can also come up to this top hopper here, build out one with a chest and then place a hopper here. This serves as our junk, so if anybody throws in any items, like anything that we are not using as our money, they will come into this chest instead of this one down here. And one final thing we can do is build out hoppers two here, and then place another chest right here, and this can be our stock input, so whatever items you're selling you can just put in this chest, and they will automatically go into the store. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave a like down below. I make videos just like this one every single Friday, and I'll see you in the next one.